Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Hi, Scotty. Take it away, homeboy. Oh, hello, everybody. It's Friday Night Flies. Thanks for joining us on our new YouTube channel, Friday Night Flies. Um, yeah. Good. Lots of good fishing right now. Lots of good stories. Fell in the water off my float tube today. That was awesome. Um, water's cold, so don't try it. If you have to pee, go to the shore. <laughs> yep, that has but happened too many. When I was in the water, I got this fly this fly pattern over here. Did you? What did you do? Stir up the bottom or I, I guess I stirred up the bottom <laughs> when I kabloosh. Uh no, but today on the water. Always when I'm going around, I'm always checking out the water off the side of the pontoon boat. And uh, lots of light colored, tan colored damsels making their little swim to the shore. And uh, what's really neat about them, we were out there with dry fly lines today, is that the damsels, they were all in the first like foot to foot and a half of the water just doing their slow little wriggle. And uh, I needed to have this pattern today. Uh, I think it would have slayed. There was lots of not rises because there wasn't anything um, rising or hatching today. But there was lots of boils. And I think a lot of it was them chasing these little things around the shallows through the weed beds. Just a theory. But uh, I know I'm going to go right back out there with this little guy. White lightning. And uh, going to have a successful day again. That's similar to the Steely May. Yes. Um, which is really similar to that, but it's olive or chartreuse. It's really light green. Yeah, it's similar to this. One of my favorite flies. Yeah. So and you this one, the, you didn't tie that with a bead head. I'm noticing. No, you not this time. Decided not to go. I'm planning on doing this one with a clear intermediate line. Intermediate. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Make so it, if you are fun. using your dry lines, you want to either put some. I am. Planning. I was going to do it tonight, but uh, a black I'm just head? kind oh, of black. running out of time. But you could do a bead head, or I was thinking uh, lead tape underneath on the whole body. That'll change Gotta, how it swims, though. It definitely will change how it swims. Yeah. But these things, they weren't bobbing. They were just. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we're going to try that. And then we'll obviously we'll try it with a big bead head on there. It'd be even an easier pattern with big bead head. That alleviates half the pattern. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the Island of Dwarfsman says, call it the spice, uh, spiced whiskey. Spiced whiskey. That does look kind of like spiced whiskey. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, except uh, this is going to catch fish. And the other one catches you a hangover. That's, yeah, a bad yeah. hangover. So here, let's go down and uh, give her a nice slow roll for us. Guys. Yeah. All right. That's a pretty sexy little fly. I like a lot. Ooh. So, as you probably noticed, it's quite a bit quieter in here from oh. Scott's uh, last video there. Poor guy. Yeah. Chaos <laughs> chaos. We've locked we've locked the doors now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our buddy Birkin Ben came by with his Hoodlums. rambunctious kids. Hoodlums. It didn't take him long to tear the store apart, that's for sure. That's right. They come in here, fill their pockets and out of the door they go. Hoodlums. Uh, and of course, I just got my thread all wrapped up underneath. There we go. So what are you starting out there with a curved caddis? We got our six size six curved caddis, same hook that we were doing the the mayfly. There's a reason for that. That's the size of most of the bugs right now, man. I'm yep. telling you, big and juicy size six nymphs are on the fire. Money. Yep. And not just that, we also noticed today that there are a lot of small leeches that fit that exact size too. Oh so, yeah, there was there was big ones today, like boom, big honking. But uh, yeah, when you get out of the lake and you look down at your flipper, it's full of the ton ton of them that are exactly boom right there. Well, gee, that's, that's right not, there. That's, that's not the new one. That's the old one. That gives you. A, this is the, the new one with the um, nope. Oh, it's not even there. What the hell is it? Oh, this one hanging up. That's the one. That's the <clears> one. <throat> You got her a little give, bit more sparse. We'll give you a little little preview. Oh, oh it's, it's coming. Done. It's coming tonight. Anyhow. All right, let's get to this fly here. So we're down. Perfect. We've got the hook. We're going to bring our thread to the hook point, and then we're going to tie in the tail. 
So we don't want to go past it. It gets uh, it makes the body of this fly too long. And I just have some nice tan colored marabou. And I don't want a lot. If you keep it sparse, then when it's in the water, it'll actually, when you're stripping it, you'll see it'll actually flutter. Sweat if you more. have too much, it'll just collapse on itself. And you don't get that nice flutter action, which is what uh, the damsels look like when they're swimming. So we're going to do about the hook length or hook shaft length there. Nice little tail. You know, we're starting My to get... hands are getting rough. My thread's sticking to it. We're starting to get a bit on the busy side, so I'm not sure how many more uh, of these shows we're going to be able to do on Friday nights. We are um, getting busy. I got a feeling. I'm getting tired. Our our homeboy Zach from Bass Pro is going to be taking over the show here for a little bit, and uh, we always like to have uh, more interest. If there's a any of our followers that would like to participate in the show, we're always looking for fellow tires to carry the torch. So let us know if you're interested. I think the summer months should turn to uh, what our fans are tying. Could be, yeah. Exactly. What we've inspired you to do over the winter. All right, so you see, I just slicked that back. It makes it a lot easier for yourself to uh, continue tying. And we got that in, and then I got some very, so this is size small brown wire. And I'm gonna attach it on the underside and I just touch it in at the back there and work my way up to the eye and I keep it on the other side it just helps this fly to ride correctly helps to keep it upright and now let's go to a little bit of ostrich hurl or ostrich feather again in the tan I'm going to grab two plumes I'm going to put my tips together and we're just going to tie those in at the back and get them right down to where you tied that tail in. Now, let's move to the front here. Now, I've already taken my 40 pound mono and melted it off on both sides, creating a nice little dumbbell eye. And we're going to secure this right on the top. We're going to keep it back from the head just a little bit. About uh, the hook eye distance back. Uh, once I get them in there, figure eight, I'll give you a little spin so you can get a little top preview. And make sure that they're sitting in the middle. You got them split evenly. So there you go. So it's back just about the distance of the hook eye. Same distance. That'll give you your little head. I'm just going to tilt my hook up there a little bit get a better position there we go so I'm going to do a quick little half hitch in behind those eyes I'm going to get my trusty bobbin cradle here I'm going to nip this wire into my spring material clip Quink. I'm going to grab this ostrich grab both of them I'm going to give them just a little bit of a twist just get them together and with your rotary, work it up. So at the back, I'm not putting these wraps too close together. And then as I move up towards these eyes, I'm going to bulk it up a little bit. Right there. Shorten up my thread. And trap those tag ends. Oh, and I do got to give a couple shout outs tonight. So this week we had uh, a couple of fans from Friday Night Flies out. First one was um, supposed to say hello to Greg. I took his friend out from Hawaii, Dave. And apparently Greg is a avid follower of Friday Night Flies. So I had to do the old uh, post in front of the fish finder truck with uh, with his buddy Dave so that we can send that back home to him. So, <laughs> hey, Greg, and thanks for coming out with us uh, the other day, Dave, with your family of 12. That was a busy day. 
It was a lot of fun out on, on the lake. I got partnered up with um, Dave's mother-in-law, sweet lady. So me and her putted around the lake all day. All right, so we got that. And then uh, today I took out an, uh, the uh, a very lovely family. And it was, it was very interesting. The one dude, Sam. So that's who I got to say hi to. Hey, Sam. And mom and dad are probably there watching too. They're in Whistler right now, probably having dinner. But, um, so Sam has always tied flies as a kid, never fly fished. What the hey? There is no water near him and nobody ever took him fly fishing. So his little trip here, they came out with us a couple days ago and we went and did the Creek, creek Mills. They had such a good time. We went out again today. And we took them on the on the uh, float tubes today. Nice. You guys got a bunch of fish? We got a bunch of fish today, yep. That's awesome. Good Sam job. was ringing him in. Good job, left, Sam. Left, right, and center. I think he got the biggest of the day, 18 inches. Man, that's Thing awesome. was doing somersault on him and everything. His dad came close, 17. Oh. Yeah, hey, that's okay. But you know, with the father-son rivalry, 17 ain't close. Yeah. Ain't going to cut it. Yeah, close only counts in hand grenades. <laughs> and uh, horseshoes. And horseshoes. All right, so I got myself uh, a piece of crystal flash there, and I just folded it over so that I have uh, four strands. I'm going to tie them in on either side, and what I like to do with them, if I can do it without bumping the camera, is I'm going to get in behind them just to post them out to the side a little. So you can see how that's now sticking out instead of lying flat against the body. So a couple good wraps moving all the way up so that you can trap these ones. Get them over to the side and wrap all the way back down to where you have those other ones posted. And then do the same thing, just wrap underneath. Get that thread forward. And that'll just help to poke them out to the sides. What's the body there? Is that ostrich roll? That's ostrich roll, yeah. Man, that stuff's sexy. So the ostrich roll kind of vibrates a little bit more when it's in the water. And if you look at the damsels, they got, um, I like to say gills, but they're not gills, but the sides of their body it has all little hairs. And when they were swimming, the whole body is just like, it's like it's quiver. on a vibrator. Yeah, quiver. Quiver. <clears throat> quiver is the good answer. So there we go. We got those little lovely legs hanging out the back, a little extra flashy flash. And now we're gonna go to our dubbing and we're gonna dub this head, whip finish. And that's your pattern. Pretty simple. I would call this a, uh, a guide fly if I'd ever seen one. And when you're not talking in between and taking your time so that uh, you guys can see clearly what's going on, these flies go together pretty quick. So I'm going to bulk up behind that head pretty good. I want to make it a distinction from the width of the body. And then I'm going to thin out my dubbing a little bit here. I'm going to go through the eyes a couple times. And you know what? I bet you this would also kind of resemble a, a swimming caddis as well. If you tied them in olive, change the color a little bit. All right, that's it. Jeez, that was painful. Painfully easy. Yeah, don't say you can't tie flies. This one looks really, really good. It's a, a fly for the fisherman and the fish. That it is. And if you can find yourself, that's what I was upstairs looking for. We used to have bright yellow um, saltwater mono upstairs in that's the shop here for. and I was looking for it I couldn't find it but that would be the cat's meow as an eye on this fly yeah they actually their and eye I is white from what I remember yeah the eye is white it is and then uh yeah I forgot my particular mono that I always use is the strin because it's early. UV so when we melt it down it doesn't and it also doesn't tend to go as brown as whatever I had grabbed here. I just grabbed some generic thick stuff that's, off the shelf. Uh, that's Andy's, I believe. Andy's. So, uh, there you go. That's my little. Let's give her a nice little slow roll there, homeboy. White yeah. lightning, damsel. Give me a slow stop there. Give me a uh, 
profile thumbnail there, bud. Give me a Oh, thumbnail. I'm loving these ones. These ones look good on there. It does. I'm with you. Okay, we got our thumbnail. Boom. That's beautiful. Let's go up top. Woohoo! So, I'm Boulder. Thanks for watching us. Uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook channel, our webpage, FridayNightFlies.com. And going forward, yeah, send out the news that we have our own channel. We have, like Brad was mentioning, we're outsourcing more and more information and tires. And it's all going to be getting flooded into this new channel. So we're going to have not just the fly tying, but fishing videos, tips, product reviews as we go forward. Uh, the more people that participate and subscribe, the better the channel is going to get. All right, that's Boulder signing out. Keep them wet. Happy fishing.